All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Israel, which are of great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful left of Israel, which are also the 144,000 and uh, one third the great multitude of men, women, and children that believe on the doctrine of Great Millstone and other camps that follow Great Millstone and teach the same truth and the same doctrine. I'm in the pocket for 2nd Ezra 16, uh, Marie 13, 14, and probably on down to 19. And uh, this this goes into uh, the destruction. You know, the uh, the second death is going to be by fire. You know, in uh, in the scriptures, also in the Bible, it talks about arrows, arrows being shot from one end of the heavens or one end of the earth. Well, it's it goes into the arrows right here in this in the scripture, starting in verse thirteen. And um, well, I mean, it starts at actually you can read on up but 13 14 reading on down is more in depth it says for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow his arrows that he shooteth are sharp the arrows and he that's going to shoot them ultimately is these other nations that have nuclear or thermal you know nuclear uh, weapons icbms well, ultimately, it's the Most High Yahweh. The uh, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son, and He's going to shoot these missiles upon uh, Great Babylon, America, Mystery Babylon, because America is Babylon all over, and it says. Uh, he bendeth the bow, it's like it, that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. These missiles are going to hit their target. But not only America is going to get hit, other countries are going to get hit too, but the, that great destruction is going to happen in America. The whole United States, not one city, all 50 states is going to get hit, all 50 fucking states. And shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. And I said that uh, briefly. Behold, the plagues are sent. Salakia. And shall not. And shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled. See the fire. How you how you shoot an arrow? How you shoot an arrow? And uh, and fire comes out, you know, or, or fire is kindled, you know. So it had to be uh, ICBM missiles. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returned if not backwards. So when these missiles shoot, they're not going to be like uh, when North Korea missiles uh Basically, they 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 have they they fail, you know, like have North Korea recently having failed missile strikes. I mean, not failed missile strikes, sorry, but uh, failed uh, missile uh, testings. It's not gonna be like that. Once these motherfuckers are shot, they're not they're not gonna return. You know, they're gonna hit their target. They're not gonna miss because the Lord's gonna put His spirit into these missiles. He's gonna be guiding them once they shot. He's gonna make these other nations shoot these missiles and he's going to guide these missiles all right and it says even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days so that's Ezra saying woe is me destruction destruction is me destruction is me who shall deliver me in those days that's how frightening it is because he's seen the destruction you know that's coming to the earth to come into the world you know and that's what's about to happen it says and uh also too uh, a precept one precept that came into mind for dealing with the missiles is uh isaiah uh 
I believe it's 54 and 16. It goes into uh, he blow up the coals. You know how uh, you have a blacksmith that makes swords or weapons. Well, basically the Lord has scientists that that uh, that made these nuclear missiles. You know, and uh, on down, because these are the times we're coming into. We've been seeing or hearing about rumors of wars. You know, Matthews 24, the precept right there. Matthews 24, you know, 6 through 8. That's the time we're coming into. The, uh, that great, the great tribulation. You know, the mark of the beast. The whole earth is going to be tried. Especially Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. Y'all the real, we the real Hebrew Israelites. It's going to be a, a one-third that's going to be saved. And there's going to be a two-third that's going to be killed. And I believe that's in the book of uh, Zechariah. If I'm wrong, I, I'll make another video on it. But you, it's going to go into, say, uh, two parts shall be cut off and, and die. You know, you can use the Urim and the Thurim to help find scriptures, too. And the Urim and the Thurim is, uh, is Google. The Urim and the Thurim is something... That the priest used to use, say a uh, man wanted to know if his wife was cheating, he'd go over to the priest. You know, the priest would uh, hold a little ceremony, you know, and uh, basically the Most High would give that man an answer whether if his wife was cheating on him or not, you know, just, just roughly paraphrasing it. And uh, I mean, it's only for the elect to believe this anyway. That's why I'm doing the video. And two, uh, it says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings and beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars, race wars, you know, the people uh, coming up against the government, the government turning on the people. And the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? When these evils, uh, slack it. What shall I do when these evils shall come? You know, and what you're going to do is if you're in this truth, like how Isaiah 33 and, uh, what is it, 33 and, is it the, Isaiah 30, let me, let me see real quick. These was Isaiah 33. Let's see real quick. So like you, just for edification. This is all about edifying. You know, we want to edify. I believe it's Isaiah 33. What are you looking at? It's like you. He's eating mice and shit. I believe it's Isaiah 33 and 6. I'm going to get that real quick. Because uh, what, I, what, I, what we teach... The brothers of Great Millstone, even if you're not of Great Great Millstone, you believe on the doctrine that the apostles teach, that the brothers on down teach, it's all the same body. You know, it's not no in private interpretation. It says out there, Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Yahweh is his treasure. So that's what's gonna that's that's what is gonna sustain you in these times to come. You know, because uh, uh, ultimately, the brothers that believe on this truth, due to what the scripture says, the Lord is gonna is gonna uh, is gonna basically take care of the seed of Jacob. You know, the ones that uh, that hold fast to their faith. You know, they hold fast for Yahweh and hope to be redeemed, and the hope to get spiritual powers. You know, and to uh, basically get payback on our enemies, you know, but the Lord is, is going to give you that, you know, you have to wait on him, you know, uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8, I'm going to get that too, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Zephaniah 3 verse 8 it says therefore wait ye upon me 
said that Yahweh, when you see Lord in all caps, is Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And this goes into the valley of Jehoshaphat, the Armageddon. The Lord is the Lord's show. It's his determination to gather these nations. Uh, these nations. That's why they're coming together, uh, you know, being, being allies and uh, basically, you know, going into Syria. That's where that's where that whole conflict is coming from. It's ultimately the Lord because he's going to judge them. You know, and you can, uh, the precept for this is in the book of Joel, you know, going to the valley of Jehoshaphat. But the main key is in the first sentence. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, said the Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. So you got to wait for uh, the Most High to send the Son, you know. Because if we try to make a move with our own uh, bodies, you know, We'll get put to fucking death. You know, we try to go at it uh, with a cop or anything like that. We'll get put to death. You know? So, but, uh, back on the topic that I was talking about in the Apocrypha, it's going to be great famine. You know, these race wars clashing. And they're going to they're gonna seek to persecute us. You know? And, uh... I kind of got mine, my mind got uh, thrown off a little bit, so it's lucky. But, uh, so that, that's what's going to happen too. It shall be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, you know. And uh, before this war pop off, the economy has to crash, you know. Wars help uh, fuel, when, well, fund money, you know, basically. Okay, Selakia. It all right. It says right here in the nineteenth verse, "Behold, famine and plague, tribulations, tribulation and anguish, are sent as scourges for uh, admit admitment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor by all nor be always mindful of the scourges. You know, behold." So they're not gonna they're not gonna sit here and turn from their wicked ways, you know. Even after they see the uh, America destroyed, they're not gonna they're not gonna turn from their wickedness. That's, that's in the Book of Revelations too, you know. They're gonna continue to do the things that they want to do, you know. And it says, "Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth." sword famine and great confusion and that's what's gonna happen to these people that they're, they're not gonna have the truth they're gonna be confused they're gonna be in gross darkness like how it says in, in the book of isaiah because the lord is not dealing with them you know the lord uh he works through his servants the prophets you know that's that's who he deals with and that's in the book of amos three i'm gonna get that uh, so like if I'm jumping around, it's just the times are short that we are coming into. You know, the times are short and you want to get as much knowledge out as possible. You know, these videos, we hope that elect brother, sister will find these videos and will be edified and will be... Uh, Basically, they had a knowledge of the Most High. That's the dirty elect. That's why we do these videos. Right here, Amos uh, 3 and 7. It says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets, his secret unto his servants, the prophets. You know? So, that's who that's who's gonna have the knowledge in these times. You know, is uh his servants the prophets. You know, uh, this truth wasn't given given to everybody. You know, it was given uh to the to the elect. I mean, uh yeah, to the elect of course, but also to uh to the one third, the great multitude. 
of all nations, kindreds, and tongues. It's just roughly paraphrasing it. But that don't mean that heathens are going to be saved. That scripture is going into uh, how Israel's in these other nations, you know? And they're going to look like the other nations, you know? Basically, black, so-called black men, Latino men, Native American men, were laying with heathen women. And over time, while they laid with heathen women, the seeds started looking like heathens. But the bloodline, it was of Israel. And, you know, we don't go by your father, I mean, uh, Slaka, we don't go by your mother's lineage. That's bullshit. That's Jewish. That's what the so-called Jews do. I mean, uh, Jewish. Well, they're not so-called Jewish. That's what they are. But they call themselves Jews. So they're the so-called Jews. And it's in the book of Numbers. Numbers 15. And, uh, let's see, Numbers 15. Let's see, it's lucky. This is going into the fringes. I believe it's in Numbers. I know it's in the book of Numbers for sure. Because it goes into, say, how your father's lineage... That's that's how uh, that that's that's how your lineage is determined is through your father's lineage. So lucky if I if I can't find it, but uh, you can you can type it in on Google and find it. I, I don't have it. I can't remember the chapter in here. But basically, your father's lineage is, is what determines who you are. You know, your father's father, forefather, you know. But uh, the main key and the main topic was to trust in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashem in the name of Yahweh Shai is his son. These names are given to Israel, okay? These names were given to the to the actual Israelites, not the Israelis. They were given to the Israelites so that they can, so we can call upon the Most High in truth and sincerity, you know, and for for when help, you know, that's who we're supposed to call upon. Not God and Jesus. That's not their name. Name is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai in in the Paleo Hebrew, in the ancient Hebrew, the Lash One Kadash. You know, the holy tongue. That's that's the only names that you're gonna call upon if you're the elect and the one third that's gonna uh save you and hopefully deliver you. You know? You have to have faith. Cause they hear you when you call upon them. You know? And uh the great uh, great insurrection uh, let's see, like it. let's see. Well, I'm going to read right here in verse 39 in 2nd Ezra 16 and 39. It says, even so, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. You know, so when these plagues hit, it's going to be back to back back to back you know it's, it's going to be on every side you're not going to be able to escape it there's no escaping this and it's a, it's a scripture in Amos going into how it talks about uh, a man fleeing from a lion or he put his hand up, up against the wall and a serpent bit him basically there's no escaping this especially for heathens heathens <laughs> they're not going to be saved period you know because the Lord ain't going to cross for them fucking heathens he went to cross for you so called blacks latinos Native Americans, you know, and it says, oh, my people, hear my word. How you going to hear his word? Through his prophets, his servants and prophets, making you ready to the battle, the battle for these times, you know, your mind, your spiritual, your spiritual, uh, spiritually uh, battle ready, you know, your war ready in your mind, you know, not, not physical, loading up with guns and shit, that, that's stupid. The Lord is uh is your uh your weapons of war, 
you know, you teaching my hands to war, Psalms 144. How how you being taught to to war is through the knowledge first. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So in those times when the Lord say move, God damn it, move. You know, go from one location to another location. And also too, in those times when man shall desire to go into a city and cannot, you know, because of martial law. It's gonna be martial law. They're gonna block these cities off. You know, so it's gonna be hard for you to go to city city. Where you wet in them times is where you wet. You know? And uh basically um, basically that's that's all uh And also, all right, well, here it go right here. So going to the race wars, this is 2nd Ezra 15. This is 15 verse, and 16 says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Today, your modern day swords, the gun. You know, so they're going to be using guns, or whatever other type of instrument war, mainly the gun. You know, Americans like guns and shit. So that's what they're going to use, you know. Black against white, so-called. Jacob and Esau. Jacob, you so-called black Latinos, Native Americans. And uh, black Latino, Native Americans, you know, descent. Mexicans, too. You know, y'all part of this. Y'all family. You know, because people try to leave the Mexicans out. That, well, that's fucking wrong. The word Mexico, Mexi, is Hebrew. And that's the tribe of Esachar. And it says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall uh they shall not regard their kings nor princes. So they're not gonna listen to the government. To the government, uh you know, to cops, you know, the government so forth, you know. Course of uh course of their actions shall stand in their power. So Edomites, uh, Jakes, Jacob and Esau, black, white, other nations too, they're going to be doing this thing based off their own power. Look, we hungry. Or, look, we're going to fight. Fuck what the government say. You know, and also too, is the scripture, Jeremiah 30 and 7, Jacob's trouble. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because of, uh, because of martial law. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's what's going to happen too. You know, it's going to be a uh, great sedition. You know, it's going to be destruction. You know, lack of bread. You know, and all, by all means, people are going to get or attempt to get uh, food, water, shelter. You know, they're going to even kill their own friends. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. And also, too, women going to be raped on a high level because all these women are hoes. They dress like hoes, too. You know, so, hey, so be it. You know, especially our women, black, Latino, Native American women, they don't like to wear fucking dresses and wrap up. You know, they wear fucking uh, skinny jeans and, and tights. And they fucking stink. Not all, but it's a good handful, you know. You're supposed to be wrapped up. That's even in the scriptures. So y'all breaking the laws, even doing that, you know. Like, damn. That's one of the least things you can do. But America wants women to wear pants. They want them to be the men. You know, in the scriptures, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. On that. And, uh... Because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's what's coming in these times. Lack of bread, lack of water. These people are going to be killed. You know? Because they're going to want bread and water. You know? So I'm going to close this out. Uh, 24 minute, 25 minutes sit down on what's to come. And, you know, put your faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, in these times to come, you know, and have faith. 
So all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Uh, salutations to the Akim, to the brothers on the four corners of the earth that's preaching this truth. On the street, highways and byways, pushing videos. They're doing whatever fit is possible, you know, to the best of their ability to, to spread this truth and not to hold it, you know. And they hope, we hope, to edify the elect of our nation. Shalom.